Hi you two, welcome to your 10 minute grammar lesson. Again, like last week, this is a recap of things that you have already learned in year two and possibly year one as well. So what is a noun? Hmm, what is a noun? Have a think. If you're at home and you've got a whiteboard, maybe write a noun down on your whiteboard, write it down on a piece of paper. What is a noun? That's right, a noun is a name, place or thing. Can you think of some nouns? Maybe you can write them down. Brilliant, here are some nouns. Maybe you thought of the same ones as I did. We have table, Miss Thomas, flower, school, Broadfield's Primary School, Cat, London and Book. They are all names, places or things. Now, you may notice that I've highlighted some of these nouns. Why have I highlighted some of these nouns? Amazing! They are called proper nouns okay so for names and actual places so you'll see that for school by itself i don't have a capital letter but for broadfield's primary school it's the actual name of a school so it needs a capital letter and london of course is also a, a place a name for an actual place uh, so we would use a capital letter so they are all proper nouns and for proper nouns we need capital letters what is an adjective? Remember our skills that we spoke about last week. If we're not sure what an adjective is, think about what we do now know. So we've just talked about a noun. So I know an adjective is not a name, place or thing because I know that's a noun. OK, so it's all about that process of elimination again. OK, thinking about Hmm, okay, I know what a noun is, so it's not a name, place or thing. Can you remember what a verb is? We spoke about them last week. It's a doing word, so I know it's not a doing word. And an adverb, I learned about adverbs last week as well. And that describes a verb, what's left. An adjective is a describing word and it describes a noun. So it describes a name, place or thing. So here's a sentence. The awesome superhero saved me. So the word awesome is the adjective in this sentence. The superhero is the noun in that sentence. And you'll see that the adjective describes the superhero. So the adjective is describing the noun. Awesome is the word used to describe the superhero. What adjectives can you think of to describe Wolverine? This superhero here, what adjectives can you think of to, to, to describe Wolverine? You may want to pause the video and write some of those adjectives down. Here's some that I had thought of. So we've got long, sharp claws. That's describing his claws. He's yellow, he's blue. I think he's a bit scary. He's fierce, he's strong, powerful and super. And I'm sure you guys had so many more amazing, powerful adjectives. Brilliant, well done. So all of those different words describe Wolverine. Okay, so what is the noun in this sentence? Before I answer my question and choose the word, I need to remind myself what is a noun. I do this just so I don't make any mistakes and accidentally choose an adjective or a verb or an adverb. So what is a noun? Yep, that's right. A noun is a name, place or thing. So let's read my sentence. Superman. Hmm. Is Superman a name, place or thing? Yes, he is. So Superman is the noun in the sentence. I'm just going to carry on and check that I don't have any more nouns in my sentence. 
can. Mm. Now, a can to drink from is also a noun, but how it's used in this sentence is not is not a noun. So Superman can. No, nope, that's not a noun. Fly. Oh, is fly a name, place, or thing? No, it's not. It's a doing word, which means it is a verb. Unless you were talking about the little mini beast that is a fly, which in this sentence, it's not. What are the nouns in the sentence? Now, there's a clue there from the question. And this is something that you need to really look out for when you're answering questions. It is asking me, what are the nouns? There is an S at the end of the word nouns, because it is plural. Who can remember what plural means? That's right, it means more than one. So my question tells me straight away, I'm looking for more than one noun. So, Captain America used a shield to protect himself. Captain America. Hmm. That's the name of the superhero. That's my first noun. Used. Used. That's not a noun. That's not a name, place or thing. A. That's not a noun either. Shield. Hmm. Shield. That's a thing, isn't it? It's an object. It's something that you can hold. And Captain America is holding that shield. He's using that shield to protect himself. That is the second noun in the sentence. Brilliant. Well done, year two. Ooh, what are, what, sorry, what is the adjective in the sentence? Again, just like the last question, that tells me that I'm only looking for one adjective because it says the adjective, not adjectives, okay? It's not plural, it is singular. So, the amazing superhero girls are ready to fight. I love the superhero girls, by the way. What is the adjective in the sentence? Remember, what's an adjective? That's right, it's a describing word. It describes a noun. You would usually find it just before the noun in the sentence. So, the, nope, that's not an adjective amazing. That's my adjective, okay? The amazing superhero girls. So the superhero girls is the noun in this sentence and amazing is the adjective describing the superhero girls. What are the adjectives in this sentence? There's a clue in my sentence, in my question, sorry, that's telling me I'm looking for more than one adjective, okay? So, the terrifying green hulk was very angry. He is really terrifying and looks very angry, doesn't he? So, the terrifying green hulk was very angry. Mm. Let's read our sentence. The no, we know that's not an adjective. Terrifying. Yeah, that's describing the Hulk. Terrifying is one adjective. Green. That's describing him too. And it's also telling me that he is very angry. Okay, so there are three adjectives in the sentence. Okay, for our last part of the lesson, I hope you've enjoyed it so far and recapped, refreshed your brains about nouns and adjectives. It's time for Mrs. Foley's mistakes. Yep, that's right, year two. I've been writing more sentences and making more mistakes. Oh dear. Let's read the sentence together. I really miss seeing all of the kind, funny and wonderful children in lemon class, orange class and peach class. There are three mistakes though in this sentence. Can you help me again? So let's start at the beginning. Hmm, I. Now, 
I remembered to use a capital letter this time. So that's not a mistake. Yes, I learned from that mistake last week when I forgot to start my sentence with a capital letter. I really miss seeing all of the kind, funny, oh, I see what I've done here. I've put my and and comma next to each other again. And why shouldn't I do that, you two? That's right, they are not friends. Okay, so I must remember next week not to make that mistake again. So I really miss seeing all of the kind, funny and wonderful children in lemon class, comma, orange class. Oh, I've remembered here not to put a comma next to my and. And peach class. Oh, I can see my mistake. I have not used a capital letter for peach class. My P should be a capital P because it is a proper noun. Okay, so just like I have for orange class and uh, lemon class, I've used a capital letter for the start of the of the names, whereas peach class I've forgotten. So I must remember that next time. And I have one more mistake. Oh, that's strange. Why have I used a question mark in my sentence? This isn't a question. I really miss seeing all the fine kind, funny and wonderful children in lemon class, orange class and peach class. That's not a question, that's a statement. I'm giving you some information. I'm not asking you for information. So that should really end with a full stop or a capital letter. Okay, well done year two. You have done brilliantly today. Now you have your Google quiz on Google Classroom to complete. Okay, so please make sure you have gone through all the slides, taken it all in your fabulous brains, and then you'll be able to answer your questions on Google Quiz. See you soon, year two. Bye-bye.